Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Disney Springs. It is a beautiful April day and I wanted to come down and ride some rides and eat some food and just have a great Disney Springs day. So, let's go do this. I know I said we're gonna ride some rides and you guys are probably thinking what because a lot of people don't know Disney Springs does have some rides or attractions they have some kitty rides and they even have a high-flying thrill ride and I'm gonna show them all to you but we are also gonna be getting stuff to eat and trying some snacks I'm just excited for the day I'm excited for every day the first ride we're going to be riding is the Disney Springs Carousel. And believe it or not, a lot of people walk past this and they don't even know that it's a Disney Springs Carousel. It's all themed to Disney Springs and kind of retro Disney Springs. You can see there's a Pleasure Island sign up here and then a Downtown Disney sign right there. Do you see it? Really, really awesome. And they also have the old World of Disney logos. It also plays Disney music from all of the classic movies as you go round and round. I really like that fact because sometimes you don't get that really awesome Disney soundtrack. Right now I can hear some. It costs five dollars for two tokens and it's one token per ride. So uh, either you come by yourself and you pay five dollars and ride twice or if you and uh, somebody else wants to ride it's only five dollars. Weather permitting. And they got a little token redemption machine here. And luckily I just got a $5 bill sitting in there, but they do take credit cards. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at these classic little ones. One token, excellent. Look at this, isn't it awesome? There's the Lego dragon and that's the marketplace. I really, really like it. Downtown Disney right there. That's the one I was showing you. Is that actually, oh no, that, yeah, the Downtown Disney Marketplace. And I think I'm actually going to ride inside like the teacup. This actually spins when we go round and round. I'm not going to go too fast. I don't like a lot of spin, but it's like I'm getting two rides to the price of one. Carousel and the teacups. This is probably my second favorite Disney carousel. Oh, I'm spinning. <laughs> this literally might be my second favorite Disney carousel because it's the only one I know other than uh, Prince Charming's carousel. Ooh, and they're actually uh, playing uh, Moana. Oh, way, oh, way. <laughs> I'm going to do a little spin. Oh. <laughs> oh, too fast, too fast. This is really, really relaxing. That was so much fun. I don't know why the carousel just brings out the kid in me. It's so fun. I like seeing the lights and all the pretty murals. Carousels are really, really nice. And I got to ride some amazing ones. Knobles has some of the best uh, carousels I've ever been on. And I can't wait to go back to Knobles just to see the, they have a carousel museum there. So I, I'm a little passionate about <laughs> the carousels as you can tell. <laughs> But I did find out I can use my extra token to take a ride on the Rio Grande Express. The good old old timer. I'm very excited. I like this too. It's a little kitty train ride. And like I said in the beginning, some of them are kid rides, but I'm a kid at heart and I absolutely love train rides and carousels. But later on, we are going to do something kind of really cool and we're going to go pretty high up. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a sneak peek. Later on, we're going to be taking a hot air balloon ride and I'm so excited. I haven't done this in quite a long time and I feel like today is the perfect day. Look at those blue skies. We're going to get some amazing views. No adults inside the engine or the final caboose here, so we're gonna do back row. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got sound effects and everything. A grand tour of Disney Springs. Star Wars Trading Post on your left. And then coming up, we are going to be approaching the Once Upon a Toy Toy Store, followed by the Trendy. All aboard! <laughs> This is 
so much fun. I love it. I love all the sound effects they have, but you can hear them. Actually, the conductor speaking. Can you hear it? <laughs> and it actually is really cooling and relaxing. Woo! <laughs> I just realized there's a bunch of hidden Mickeys in the rails. Oh no, the ride's coming to an end. That was so much fun. Now I think we're gonna grab ourselves a margarita at the margarita stand, sit down and listen to some live music, some acoustic sets right here. It's a really fun day so far, I'm having a blast. Lots of good margaritas to choose from and even though it's spring, I'm kind of in the mood for a summery drink and I noticed Sam Adams brought back the summer ale so now that's on tap so I might just grab myself a summer ale. I feel like this is going to be so refreshing. Oh wow, I love it. This is such a relaxing spot. You have the live music, you can see the fountains. Oh. He's good. That was super chill and relaxing hanging out there. But I don't want to stay too long because seating is really tough over there like uh, where they're actually doing the live music because of social distancing. So uh, I just had my one drink and now I'll move about and uh, probably get something to eat. I'm a little hungry. One of the places I've never eaten at is Paddlefish and I thought it would be cool to actually dine on a boat. So we're gonna head on to the front of the boat and actually get something to eat and drink. Oh, I'm so excited. I've never eaten here before, but I hear they have amazing lobster corn dogs. So I think I'm gonna try those. This is so beautiful here. I always love coming to the paddlefish and getting drinks, but today I think I'm gonna get something to eat. So like I said, I seen lobster corn dogs and I have to be honest, I had lobster one time uh, a couple years ago and I've never had it again. So I really, really wanna try lobster. So I'll try the corn dogs, but in the near future, I wanna try an actual lobster lobster. So if you guys know anywhere on Disney property where I can get some good lobster, let me know in the comments and I'm gonna make sure to try it there. It's also really cool how you can dine outside. So we are at the front of the boat. Look, it's got a little bell there and you can see the, the hot air balloon that we're gonna be riding a little bit later. But you can actually just grab a seat right here. No reservation needed and you're right here at the bar. I decided on getting a Key Lime beer. This is one of my favorite beers I've ever had at Disney Springs. I don't know, there's something about it. It's got like a very nice like lime taste to it. Very delicious, not too hoppy at all. I wonder what the IBU on this is. <sighs> Much too good for children. And here is a look at the menu. The lobster corn dogs is $16. I'm very excited to try that. So I've already put an order in for that. And then if it's not big enough, we'll see what like the size is. Maybe we'll grab something else, maybe from the land, maybe a pork chop or a burger. Not too sure, we'll see how it goes. This has to be one of the most relaxing days I've had at Disney Springs. I'm riding a bunch of rides, just enjoying this beautiful weather, and now I'm hanging out on a boat about to eat some fried lobster. <laughs> what else can be better? <laughs> and here it is. Look at those little babies. They come on little sticks. This is gonna be so interesting. Like I said, I can't even remember the last time I had lobster. It was a long, long time ago. And I don't know if I liked it or not, but I definitely increased my palate with food. And now I am uh, more excited to try it than ever. First bite, very excited. Oh yeah, that is good. I really, really like it, and I really like lobster. Kind of, kind of reminds me of shrimp a little bit. I don't know why I haven't had lobster before in the past more, but 
Now I'm excited to actually get like a lobster dish somewhere. This is very good though. The breading's not too like heavy. It's just very light. I think it's just cornmeal actually. And uh, yeah, I would definitely get this again. This is delicious. It is one lobster tail cut into five. So I think it's a very, like a very good price for uh, $16. I am very happy with these. They're very delicious. And the sweet chili aioli, that also is very delicious. So put them together and what do you got? A very delicious lobster corn dog. <laughs> That was so delicious. I absolutely love it there. I'm definitely gonna come back here and do like a full dining review in the future because the lobster uh, corn dogs were big enough that I really didn't need to get an entree. I really love that key lime beer. It's probably, like I said, one of my favorite at Disney Springs. So I'm definitely coming back, but we have more things we wanted to do down here today. So that's why I'm gonna get moving along. Now it's time we see Disney Springs from the air. 400 feet up in the air. I am so excited to do this. And they actually give you like the uh, the time and the temperature right outside where you would purchase tickets. It's $20 for adults and then ages three to nine or 15. So, oh, yep, there it is, six o'clock. And the temperature is 84 degrees. A beautiful 84 degree Florida day. I highly suggest if you guys plan on doing this, you arrive early and give it a good hour to two hour wait because right now it's six o'clock and we probably waited, I would say 30 minutes to actually get the tickets and then the line to get on the hot air balloon. It's probably a good like 30 minute wait. So that actually puts us right at sunset. That's how I wanted to do it. So I'm so happy. Maybe we'll get like some beautiful sunset views from up there. But as you can see, I had to wait in that whole line right there. And then once you do get your tickets, you have to hop in this line right here. And then that line goes all the way down the dock. Quite a long wait. Fun fact, this isn't even a hot air balloon ride. It's a helium balloon ride. It actually raises you up and brings you back down, but they control it. So there's no hot air actually being pumped up in there. Luckily, Jackie, super enthused, is going to be joining me on this adventure. I brought the pixie dust. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh. you know we're going to need some today. And I was just saying, you know what this, it makes me want to sing usually. I don't know why. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite. As we actually get farther down onto the dock, I just can't believe how massive that balloon is. It is swaying back and oh forth God. and wow. It's amazing actually. It's so huge. Isn't it? Like look, look at, at it bobbing back and forth. We're so so tiny to this. <laughs> look, it's it is, it's bobbing back and forth. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna film this. I think I just might do like a little montage of our descent up into the air. And then hopefully once we get up there, we'll talk about it. I'm very excited. And like I said, the sunset's gonna be beautiful. But here she comes down. Final countdown. And I think I said that backwards. <laughs> we're gonna ascend yes. and then we're gonna descend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you guys understood where I was going with that. I had to think about it. Yeah. Jackie just let it happen. I oh, then heard her talking. I said, yeah, uh huh. But I, I think you looked over at me like, did Nate just say descent? <laughs> <laughs> we're heading in now. Hey, Joe. Thank you. We're gonna go straight across from you. You're gonna be between numbers four and five. Thank you. Oh wow, this is amazing. Oh, it's a little rocky though. Four and five, four and five right here. It's so cool in here. And they actually have us all differently like stationed. So you get a number and that's where you gotta go. And we are lucky four and five. But take a look at that view. This is gonna be a beautiful ride. As we get ready to go up, I'm gonna ask everybody, grab that handle either in front of you or behind you for just a moment because we're all wheels. We're gonna shake around and well it's my first night doing this, so we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> Here we go guys. Oh boy. Oh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Hey, we're lifted up. The YouTube videos, I'm sure I can land it twice. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Don't have the charm, Joe. <laughs> Look at how crazy this is as we look down. <laughs> that is all of Disney Springs below us. Absolutely mind blowing. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boat is spinning in circles. It's doing donuts. The Ampia car is doing donuts down there. That is so awesome. <laughs> you look straight, straight down and that's where we actually came up. And everything's happening. So this is all of Marie and Enzo's, the Edison, they have the Boathouse, STK. This is just mind blowing seeing all of Disney Springs like this. I'm scared to like lean forward. <laughs> <laughs> all of the parks are actually in the sunset and it kind of has this like fog effect on it. That's Tower of Terror we're looking at right there. The Swan and Dolphin. And then right over here is Spaceship Earth, if you can see it. It's just a little bit hard to see because it's literally happening with the sunset right as we speak. Looks like we're heading down now. That was a lot of fun. It definitely gets a little scary up there, but I definitely would do it again. $20 and it's definitely worth it. I loved seeing all the views and the sunset is amazing. I would love to see a sunrise. Oh, that would be a dream for me, an absolute dream. That was seriously so much fun. I'm so happy that we did it tonight. The skies were just beautiful. Look at this. Oh, breathtaking. Disney Springs has some of the greatest sunsets I've ever seen. Definitely might want to get a drink after this and just kind of enjoy the beauty. One of the places I've been really wanting to go to and try a bunch of different beers is City Works because they probably have the most beers on draft here at Disney Springs and I've never actually dove into any of their flights so I kind of feel like that's a good way to celebrate a successful flight to the moon or not to the moon. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we were pretty high up there. Right here it is, City Works Eatery and Poor House. They have 90 different drafts on tap, 90. That's insane. And I've never actually came on the inside. I usually sit at the little bar here and uh, I've always noticed those taps, but the back wall is literally lined with them. We got a seat right at the bar. And like I said before, they have over 90 different draft beers. 72 of them are different. The other ones are duplicates because they have multiple drafts. But I am so excited. They also have a limited uh, beer uh, choice. They have four different rotating beers. And uh, I think we're gonna get ourselves a flight. They have a couple already pre-made flights. And then of course they have a build your own flight where you can just pick four. But I think I might do one of the already built flights. They have an all hopped up beer flight a fruit flight, a wonderful world of weeds, and a backyard, and then of course the build your own. I think I'm going to do a wonderful world of weeds. Jackie might be doing a backyard. Either one, I think we're going to get one in one of those. Yeah. I think that's a good way. Yeah, that sounds good. You can actually sample the beers too. So I read that there was one called Hakuna Matata, and I was like, I really want to get that because that really sounds like it's no worries. God, I feel like I'm too. I know. Right now. Look at me. Look That's how at I feel. Me. We're talking about the lighting in here. Lighting is like. Yeah, because we're, we're staring at the TVs, and wow. What is that from like Zoolander where it's like a little so good? Right yes. Now. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Philosophy. <laughs> that's what happens when you have good life. Yeah. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> There's our beers right there. Oh, look, there, and he actually prints yeah, out the like sheets. Yeah. yeah. But look at all of the taps going all the way down the bar.
That is awesome. Thank you. The flights are six ounce pour, so you get four of them. So that's 24 ounces, and it's uh, the equivalent of two regular sized beers. Not a bad price for uh, $16. So it's just about $8 a beer. And I went with the wonderful world of wheat. The wonderful world of wheat beer. <laughs> Jackie ended up getting the backyard and I'm excited we're gonna you know go right in order so I'll start off with the 312 urban wheat goose island beer I do love goose island so this is gonna be a good start all right cheers cheers cheers, cheers. so good Recently, I have done some flights and I was drinking them rather quickly. Now, those were uh, four ounce pours. Since these are six ounces, I'm not going to drop them back in one sip. And a lot of people didn't like the one sip technique. So I'm going to actually just maybe break it down into two sips. Yeah, I recommend multiple sips. Three, three, maybe four. You want me to go three? Mine are like 20 sips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Hefeweiss beer and I'm excited to try it because I don't think I've ever had it before and it's a wonderful world of wheat. Oh that's good. It's very weedy. Yeah it's definitely had its weedies. Next one we're gonna hop to is the Tangerine Wheat. Lost Coast Brewing. This one has a little bit of a darker color. I've also noticed that they actually put them in order of darkness. And I don't know if, they, if that's in order of uh, their IBU either, but usually the darker, the more IBU it's gonna be. It's gonna be hard to beat the first one. The 312 Urban Goose, Goose Island was very, very delicious. Oh, but this one is great. If you love the blue moon with a little bit of orange peel in it, you can definitely taste the tangerine in this. Like, you can taste it immediately. As we're making our way with our flights, we got two more samples. This is a banana bread beer and a Rubius beer. Look at the color of this Rubius, though. So majestic, isn't it? Yeah, it's like pink. <laughs> The banana bread beer is a little bit of a fruity beer and a little bit of a sour beer as well. But if you like bananas, you probably will love this. It's just not really my type, my cup of beer. It's not really my cup of beer. <laughs> After enjoying some really, really good flights, I think we're gonna make our way out of City Works. I do like it in here. I probably could spend a little bit longer, but two beers is enough for the moment. I really do like it. And I also like the music in here. And I guess with that, we are done here tonight. What a fun adventure. We've gotten so much done. Uh, we started the day in the afternoon and it's night out already. I had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.